My name is Dr. Eiko Holman, and today I would like to talk about three brains. And did you know that uh, you, each one of you has three brains? The head brain, the heart brain, and the gut brain. And uh, not many people know about it, but uh, lately I think more people became aware of that. So when we deal with past trauma or some uh, you know, memories of the past experiences that are really uh, plaguing you, usually psychotherapists mostly focus on the head brain, rational brain, and the conscious memories, but actually subconscious and unconscious memories are far, far greater in scope and the the amount of memories uh, stored away in the heart and the gut is far, far greater. I would say like 90% versus 10% in the head brain and the conscious memories. And so you can see how important it is to deal with all three brains because quite often, even when our conscious ideas and thoughts uh, in agreement with the Word of God and want to do God's will, but then our subconscious mind, which, which is full of our past experiences, both good and bad, and some may be traumatic and so on, and uh, some of them are actually brainwashing experiences. And so if they are uh, full of them, then you will be like driving a car with brakes on you're not going anywhere. So Jesus said, the house divided against itself cannot stand. And so our three brains need to be in harmony and need to be integrated. So I will be talking more about three brains in my DVD entitled Three Brains. And uh, I will uh, explain more about that and how important it is to get the uh, uh, release of the past trauma, especially the memories of uh, past uh, rejection and depression and uh, mistreatments and things like that. And uh, usually they form our self-image. It's quite often it's unconscious, but self-image will be formed from cumulative experiences of all these things, both good and bad. And so uh, this DVD we will talk about how to deal with some of the uh, trauma experiences so that you can g release them and you can have more alignment in all three brains and uh, in agreement with the Word of God. Because what God says about you, about me, and about the world in general, and what his intentions are for mankind is far more uh, important than what we perceive our world to be. You see, depending on our past experiences, we form opinions about whether the, the world is friendly or hostile or uh, they're against us or and so on. So we need to line up our subconscious and unconscious thoughts and belief systems and also our value systems. They have to be in agreement.